my dear friends welcome to rajshekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 395 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on kl divergence what is this kl divergence this is a kl divergence distance between two probability density functions dkl of p q this is often written as dkl of p q if you look at wikipedia kl divergence between two probability distributions p and q is def defined as summation of x p of x into log p of x by q of x again it is discrete random variable isn't it i will have summation discrete random variable means i will have summation if it is continuous random variable i have integration that one must remember it is summation over all points or all possible x what is this this is summation over all possible all possible x p of x into log p of x by q of x now let's see how this works imagine if i have two distributions like this imagine i have p and q they are very similar my distributions my pdfs p and q are fully overlapping then what happens at every point x at every point x what is my p of x by q of x at every point x my p of x by p by q is exactly one most of the points most of the points it is very close to one what is log one log one is zero isn't it which means this part log p of x by q of x becomes log p of x by q of x is almost one very close to one then what is value of log one log one is zero what is this p of x into zero p of x into zero is zero so if two distributions are very close to each other this ratio what is this ratio p by q px by qx becoming very very close to one which means log one is becoming zero zero multiplied by zero multiplied by p of x become becomes zero if these two distributions if these two distributions p comma q are very close this distribution just see this p distribution and q distribution they are very close distance between these two distributions is measured by kl divergence will be zero it's a it's a very simple concept it's a, it's a very close that's value that kl divergence value if if they are overlapping their value is zero otherwise their if if they are very very close to each other their value is very small value this is first case what about second case let's assume distribution p and q are different just see this is the case just as you this is p this is q this is second case this is first case this is second case now we will try to understand second case second case let's assume the distributions p and q are very different this this let let me say this is my p and this is my q in this case p and q are very different isn't it what happens at this point just take this point x at this point x what is my p of x what is my this is my p of x what is my q of x isn't it p of x by q of x p of x is very big compared to q of x therefore what is my at this point x at this point x what is my p of x by q of x it's a very large is it not large it's a very large p of x by q of x is very large number if it's if it's a large number then log of a large number will also be reasonably a large number at this point let me consider this point what is what happens here my p is much smaller than q isn't it what is my p this is my p what is my q this is my q my p is much smaller than q then what is this p of x by q of x what happens at this particular point at this particular point my p is much smaller than q therefore what is p of x by q of x will become very small this value will become very small 
isn't it? Small number, less than one, log of it will become a negative number in such a case. So, what happens now? This P of X, this P of X into log P of X by Q of X now will increase as P and Q are start diverging from one another. This is called, this is called KL divergence because it is measuring how divergent or how dissimilar, the, how dissimilar these two distributions are. KL divergence has a large value, the, has a large value, the more dissimilar or divergent distributions are. It has smaller value, the more similar the distributions are. Here, we have summation over all the values of x in discrete case, isn't it? Summation over, over all the values of x, that's what we have seen in previous slide. Here, we have summation over all the values of x in discrete case. If it is continuous random variable, it is an integration. Now, interesting question is, why is it in the form p of x into log p of x? What is this? p of x into this log p of x by q of x. Why is the log here? Why we are using log? That's a good question. Why is the log here? The reason behind it fairly deep, but I will give you an intuition, high level intuition. This is whole, this is whole KL divergence is also referred to as relative entropy. There is another name for, another name for KL divergence is relative entropy, entropy, relative entropy. Take this form, what is this? Just let me, let me, what is log A by B or log M by N? Log M by N means log M, log M minus log N, isn't it? Just let me expand this one. What will you get? Just see this one. What is this? This one can be sigma uh, summation over all x p of x into log p of x by q of x, which can, this can be written as p of x into log p of x minus sigma p of x into log q of x. The whole KL divergence is also referred to as relative entropy. That's what we are discussing. Take this form. This is what just we saw, isn't it? What is this? Uh, as just we are expanding this log p of log p of x by using formula log m by n. Look at look at this part. Which part? Just say this one. Look apart from negative side. Looks very similar to the concept of entropy. Just see. Is it not uh, just like concept of entropy? What is entropy? Sigma x into p of x log p of x. So, the log term comes here because the whole KL divergence derived from information theory via the concept of entropy. This logs come, the, this log comes, comes in, in because of the concept of entropy. Now, you can go one step further and say, why is the log term there in, in, in entropy that required you to know much more deeper information theory and thermodynamics. Okay, what I will not be able, okay, which, which I will not be able to go into this discussion. So, the whole idea, why do we have log here? Because this is coming from the concept of entropy and entropy itself has, what is the formula for entropy? Formula for entropy, just try to recall, P of X, what is this? Minus, uh, my, minus uh, sigma p of x into log p of x. Just try to re recall what is entropy, which we discussed long back, isn't it? What is this? D, what is this? Sigma x into p of x into log p of x. But this 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 is just similar to just similar to entropy, isn't it? If you think of this, this is like entropy except negative sign. Except this is just like entropy except negative sign. This term, this term is just like entropy except negative sign minus sigma. What about this particular term? Minus sigma x p of x into log q of x. This is also like entropy except that is instead of q of x, instead of q of x, here I have p of x, isn't it? This is often referred 
scale divergence as scale divergence also referred to as relative entropy the reason behind log is this is based on the formula for entropy that we studied from information theory perspective which is also derived again derived from thermodynamics there are some high level intuitions why log occurred in entropy but i will not be able to give into the deep mathematic mathematical principles in uh, uh, mathematical principles in statistical mechanism uh, it is derived from statistical mechanics and thermodynamics and physics one of the very important thing is this function Function. This function, what is this function? This function, uh, KL divergence, whole KL divergence is differentiable. Is it not differentiable? This function itself is differentiable. This function is differentiable. Why it is differentiable? Just, con just see this one. I, I, I can compute uh, one of the very important thing, this function, whole KL divergence is differentiable. I can compute the de derivative of this function because log is differentiable, isn't it? Why, why uh, this log x is differentiable? Log p of x by q of x is, is, is a differentiable. I can compute the derivative of this log p of x by q of x isn't it? It's a differentiable function. The probability probability density function p of x is also differentiable. Therefore, the summation of multiple things, this is summation of multiple multiple things, sigma p of x into log p of x by q of x is also differentiable. So, this whole thing is this whole thing, this same summation is differentiable unlike a case statistic that can also measure the distance between two distribution, but it is not differentiable. Actually, case statistics is not very popular in machine learning it is popular in statistics it is popular in classical statistics in machine learning wherever we want to compute wherever we want to compute distance measure or similarity metric between two distributions KL divergence is the most favorite because it's it's uh, it's ex it's extremely simple in in its form and it is and it and it borrows great ideas from entropy and very importantly it is differentiable just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much